I just want to take a moment to clarify a point. It's not a particularly complicated point, but it's one of those points that can create a lot of confusion down the road if you miss it. A bit like how missing an exit can make the rest of your driving directions worthless, missing this point can make other points less, shall we say, on point? Namely, a significant number of people, myself included, use two words interchangeably, reference and citation. Now, they're obviously related to one another, but they aren't quite the same, so using reference for citation and citation for reference can make discussions about citation styles a bit confusing. As the name implies, a reference is a source you refer to when you're doing your own research. In technical writing, this will most often be a primary journal article, but a reference can be a secondary review article, a database, a report, a song, a movie, you name it. Put in terms of scientific epistemology, a reference is a record of how you know what you know. Most often, you put a list of your references at the end of a paper in a list called works cited, or bibliography, or references, or something similar. These lists are powerful tools when doing research. They not only give your writing authority and protect you from accusations of plagiarism, but they also serve as resources for your readers. Now, if somebody is reading your work, it's a good bet that it's because they share interests similar to yours. A list of references becomes their potential reading list. Now, that's both a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because another writer's references list often uncovers references you didn't know existed. It's a curse because reference lists create increasingly long to-be-read lists. Think about it. For simplicity's sake, let's assume every primary journal article used just 20 references. The actual number is usually much, much higher. If the only thing you had was a list of references at the end of a paper to guide your own scholarship, you'd have to read all 20 of those articles to figure out where each bit of information in the original article came from. And then you'd have to read 20 times 20 articles to find out where all of that information came from. Before too many iterations, you'd basically have to read everything that's ever been written about anything just to find what you're looking for. That's where citations come in. Unlike a reference, a citation is a marker placed in the body of the text that points the reader to the reference where specific information comes from. It's a bit like using the at to let everyone know in a threaded social media discussion just who you're replying to. A citation might be a number or an author's name or a hyperlink or any number of other markers. In every case, though, it signals to your readers where your information comes from, how you know what you know. This drastically cuts down on the legwork that other people have to do. Instead of having to read all of your references to know where a piece of interesting information comes from, they know exactly which reference they need to read if they want to learn more. Granted, this still generates to-be-read lists that grow rapidly, but at least they grow geometrically rather than exponentially, and every little bit helps. In summary then, a citation is a marker in the body of the text that points to a reference. A reference is a complete record of the source from which you got that information. As always, be gentle with yourself and kind to one another, and thanks for watching.